I got this charger for like 50 cents at Kaufland. It was uh, with a 80% price reduction. But this brand is usually very good, so I don't know why they sold it that cheap. But uh, I want to find out if, uh, if there's something inside that's weird or prone to fail or something. I want to take it apart. Uh, so the input is uh, about uh, 15 uh, watts and the output is uh, less than that, about 12 watts, 2.4 amps on 5 volts total. But it can all also uh, output it in a, on a single port, so basically they are just wired together, <laughs> nothing fancy. Yeah, CRB2400, that's the model number, I think. And it's this uh, Kaufland uh, Stif Stiftung and Company, Kagerester, blah, 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 whatever. That's the... Yeah, the importer is from Moldova. That's interesting, not even Romania, Moldova. Okay, but it's probably made in China. It doesn't say here, right? Nope. Yeah. So yeah, let's see. You probably have to pop this open, pop this uh, cover off, and the uh, other parts are uh, welded together, heated together. It's made of two parts, but uh, it won't come apart, probably. So that, yeah, let's see with a blade or something. Yeah, get in there. Oh, it's coming apart. Wait. That's interesting. But uh, something is holding it. Yeah, I don't know about that. Maybe that wasn't supposed to come apart like that. Let's take off the front panel. That's the uh, safest bet. I need uh, something else here. Like, uh, come on. Or I just rip it apart. Anybody voting ripping it apart? Just rip it. Why not? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> I bit into the USB port, but that's not a real problem. It's all just plastic. So, yeah. Well, I don't know how it's put together. This is really weird. It's just glued. Oh boy. Then this is the right approach. Because I couldn't have saved the front plate. It was glued and... Uh, yeah. Well... Glued. Oh no, it was held in by clips, can you see? These were the clips and it, they went into those, got stuck behind those things, four of them. But yeah, I couldn't have uh, safely <laughs> took it apart. Nah, that's just... Well, these aren't meant to be taken apart. These are... Uh, consumables or how do you say it if it breaks you just junk it and uh, you don't care there's nothing to fix inside so you don't want to take it apart that's their thinking come on it's all glued 
or just really really tight man this seems awesome yeah this is what i'm used to from from this brand a big nice strong coil and on the other side wait where's the chip oh the chip is here just a small tiny little thing like that well that's uh kind of surprising let's see if we can see what it is let's uh, zoom in CX8824 BXDDD231B or 18. Yeah, so this whole thing is based on one chip, couple of resistors, capacitors, and uh, yeah, this one is for the low voltage, this one for the how many volts? 35 volts. That's basically the for the input. 3 amp fuse. That's interesting. And that's on the 12 to uh, 24 volts on the input. Hmm. If that's what it means, that's interesting. 3 amps. It just says 1.2. Uh, and. Uh, 1.3 amps and here it says 3 eh, whatever so yeah this is kind of amazing it has separate LEDs for the two ports but they are all wired eh. what this is weird they are all wired in parallel, so yeah, I'll have to try this out. I'll probably make a short of it. But yeah, this is the circuit board DD823A A1 from 2022, almost 23. Hmm, interesting. So yeah, I think the quality is there. I'll have to try it out some more, but yeah, this big coil gives me confidence. Whenever you're uh, taking apart a charger or a battery management system or a power bank, electronics, whatever, you can tell how good it is by the size of the coil. <laughs> if it's teeny tiny, this is a 1 amp charger and the coil is teeny little tiny. And there are even uh, smaller coils in uh, different chargers. Do I have one handy to show you? This one was in a project of mine. This is even smaller, I think. Or the same size. Yeah, some have smaller ones, but you'll have to take my word for it or see in my other videos. But yeah, I think this is a really good build. And I'll have to see how the LEDs behave. That's a mystery.